Good morning! It certainly is a beautiful day to be alive, to eat and train like Whitney Simmons for a day. I have no complaints. I'm drinking a little energy drink and it's time to make Wit's scrumptious looking breakfast sandwich. I'm so excited for it. And this tastes really good. Here is what you need for this sandwich recipe. I'm in a great mood. Okay, English muffins, two eggs, cheddar cheese. I know that she uses dairy free. I don't really eat dairy free or dairy or whatever. I have no problem with it. So just normal cheese for me, some avocado. This one, look how I cut this yesterday. Like what am I, who am I? And then a slice of turkey bacon and spinach. This is about to be scrumdiddly umptious. The best way to start my day, pre-workout meal, like delicious breakfast. Don't know what I'm doing, but we're gonna cook right now. While I have everything on the stove, I wanna show you guys one of my favorite ways to use my air fryer, which I use for almost every single meal. So, taking the English muffin, got it, got it, and the cheese, and I'm going to put it in the air fryer just like this. And it melts it and crispens the bread. It melts the cheese and toasts up the bread. It is so good to cook it in the air fryer. The last touch is everything but the bagel seasoning. And that is the final product. That looks so good. Can we just like look at that? This is like chef status, like hello. He was so jealous of yeah. how delicious my sandwich looked that he asked me to make him one. Look at that, come here. Oh, I'm aware. The crunch of the bread from the air fryer. Mm. I wanted to take a quick moment to talk about the Whitney Gymshark collab because I bought a sports bra, a pair of spandex, and a sweater. And I am in love with this set. I think it's so flattering. I love the color. It feels like Lululemon aligns, so they're very, very buttery and silky. It's time to work out. Do I want to? No, but I'm going to, and I'm going to do one of Whitney's workouts. I'm just gonna find like an at-home workout that she has. I'm gonna do both of Whit's full body at-home workouts that she has on YouTube, so. Um, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Heart is already racing. It's racing. A nice thigh burner, so much so, my bobby pin already fell out. Whew. Circuit one is done. I feel like really, really good. Like high energy, I'm sweating a bunch. It's nice because I usually do, whoa, tooth whistle. I usually do workouts really, really early in the morning. And by early, I mean like 8 a.m. But they're typically like fasted because I don't wake up super hungry and I wanna get my workout done. But it's nice because it's like 1 p.m. and I had breakfast and I'm feeling lots of energy. Whereas sometimes if I eat breakfast and lunch and then work out, sometimes I feel the food in my stomach, but I don't in this one. It's like, I feel great. No cramps here. No cramps here. changed from one Gymshark outfit to the next, but it's time for lunch and I'm having Whitney's taco salad. I will be honest, I did buy turkey at one point, but I realized that Nick and I used it in a chili the other day and I don't like to just go to the grocery store for one item, so I just stuck with beans. This is lettuce, kidney beans, black beans, avocado, tomato, and a little bit of cheese. I put salsa as the dressing. I'm just gonna dip these chips into it. That's what I do with all of my burrito bowls, and I'm very excited about it. It looks actually so delicious. And what I did is I seasoned my beans with taco seasoning. We'll see. I love using salsa as a salad dressing. I think it's brilliant. 
I know it's loud because I've got chicken in the air fryer, but I'm currently prepping dinner and Whitney in her What I Eat in a Day made a meal that was inspired from a HelloFresh meal that she had like a few weeks prior. We're checking on the uh, cookedness of, oh my gosh, grab a plate. <laughs> no, that's a lot of risk you're taking there. Okay, so one of the chickens done. I've got the rice here. You said I could have a little bite? Yeah, you could try the rice. What's different about it? Uh, there's lemon zest and just butter, salt, and pepper in there. And then I made a little vinaigrette. Whoa, sorry, overexposed. And then we're gonna have a little side salad. Okay, I want you to do an official taste test where I get like one bite of chicken with the sauce and the rice on it. Here we go. It's good. I think I might have to start adding lemon zest into my rice now. Okay, let me try the salad. What's special about the salad? It has apples and chives in it. Like good and bad breath combined. Mm. It's good. Good evening. Good evening. What are we doing here? So I'm prepping dessert, which I can't lie, this was like part of why I wanted to make this video <laughs> was to try this freaking dessert. So here's what we're doing, y'all. We are going to make fruit pizzas with sugar cookie dough crust. Honestly, I was like gonna wait for Nick to try this, but there's no way I can. <gasps> Blueberry. This looks magical and majestical. Whoa, so worth the hype. I'm gonna need a moment in private. Uh, give me, give me a moment. Now that I've gained some composure post dessert, which my God was outstanding. This might have been my favorite following someone's what I eat in a day in a while. I thought that Whitney's recipes were really interesting, easy to make, but they tasted great, which I always love. I want easy meals that I can kind of go back to whenever I, I go grocery shopping or I just, I want something that I know will make me feel good and give me energy, but also is not a beast to make. And I really appreciated that these recipes all took like less than 30 minutes to execute from start to finish, cleanup included, and gave me a lot of energy and helped me stay really full throughout the day because there was a fair amount of protein. I wanted to offer some sort of analysis at the end of this video because I feel like that's something that I want to include in more of these. So in terms of eating these meals again, I would absolutely keep these in my rotation and especially that dinner. I mean, Nick was raving about it for like hours afterwards. So that was a, a little bit of a win, I must say. As always, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have anyone that you want to see me eat like next, feel free to leave them in the comments. I try to follow people's what I eat in the days that you guys want to watch, so. Let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. And I wish I could eat Nick's other half of his dessert pizza, but he's gonna eat it. But it was so good. <laughs> so good.